Congratulations, you're top of the Premier League. What did you think of the performance that's put you there? Oh, yeah, to be honest, um, amazing what my my team does in the moment. Uh, congratulations to everybody around the team and everybody on the pitch. They, they're amazing. I mean, um, we can maybe score a little bit more today, but the rest was nearly perfect. Uh, good game management. I think we gave one chance away, one header, where Alex made a big save, so everybody was on on highest level. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit scary what we do in the moment, to be honest, but but not so surprising because when I see them working and, and when I see them uh, um, taking everything what we try to work on, uh, then it's, it, it must uh, come the moment where you can see it also in the, on, on, in, a, in, a, in a Premier League game. If you have one tiny criticism on a big night like this, is it the fact that you perhaps should have scored more? Yeah, earlier, uh, I think, close the game earlier. It, it was definitely possible today. But yes, um, I mean, uh, um, the way we, we lured them sometimes and played them through the lines is, is absolutely... Uh, fantastic to watch. Uh, uh, we have so good decision making in the red zone when we turn, and yes, we can then make the last pass or the last final decision even better. But yeah, this is criticized on a, on a high level. But okay, we 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 know that uh, that it's not so, so easy to create a lot of chances against this team. We had a lot of chances, and it was uh, amazing. A fine goal by Che Adams early on. Did it under that finish and his overall performance? Did it underline how his game is developing now? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the two guys in front. Uh, I think it was a good decision with Theo and with him. Theo gives us the speed and the deep runs, and and Che is amazing in the box. A uh, fantastic finish today. Could also score more, I think. But uh, yeah, important important that that we immediately show that also without Danny we have we have the quality to score and and uh, yeah, this is important for our game. How did you feel Theo adapted to that more central forward role? Oh, very good, I think, uh, uh, especially when he can turn in the red zone and goes with the ball. He has a good technique. Uh, he had two good chances where the finish was not perfect. On this, we must have to we have to work on the on the on the final uh, finish. But uh, the game was was especially the, the workload he he invests for us is is amazing. Were you surprised he didn't earn a penalty for you in the second half? I mean, uh, there were a few critical situations, I think. One time on Musa, one time on Theo. I haven't seen it yet, but uh, yeah, it was. In the end, it was not deciding the game. The, the game, we try always to win it with, without uh, uh, needing a penalty or something like that. Ralph, a year ago, Southampton found themselves in the bottom three of the Premier League. Here and now, just how proud are you of where they sit tonight? Yeah, I mean, uh, I just uh, told the guys in the, in, the, in, the, in the dress room that we. Yeah, we invested so much in this time together. Uh, we made so many uh, big steps forward, and we are now a strong side. And uh, this is not a coincidence because I think uh, we develop every part of our game uh, with the ball, against the ball, our transition, uh, our game management. Very brave. Um, I think it helped us uh, that we had uh, situations where. There was no crowd in the stadium. We developed the game because we knew we have not so much stress now, and now we yeah, we get used to it. And and uh, this is this is then a more a completer game, I think.